One of the first things you'll notice you come into Boston this weekend, take a look at the number of shuttle buses, and we are just in Copley Square. Now this weekend, it will turn out to be a two-day rehearsal as we get ready for next week's commute. The first full day of construction got underway at Wellington Station in Medford as old tracks were pulled up, ready for new ones to be laid down. A fleet of 200 buses from across the eastern U.S. have arrived to get the Orange Line riders to their destinations. I think it's going to be tough for a lot of people. Um, people have to take it to commute. And then now you got a lot more cars on the road that's impacting traffic. So anybody that's already driving in, commuting, it's going to affect everybody. Sure, but we're here to do what we have to do, and um, we're going to see it through. We didn't get a lot of notice. Riders have had only two weeks to get ready for this massive T shutdown, and we found many riders who didn't know the Orange Line had been shut down. On Saturday, City Councilor Kendra Lara crisscrossed her districts, letting people know what was happening. Well, there really is a gap of information, and that's why we're doing this right now, because we know that the best way to reach um, our constituents is to go to where they are, which is at home, on the street, at the bus stops, and giving them as much information as we possibly can. This weekend, the mayor was trying out the commuter line from Roslindale to Back Bay with her two boys as she gets ready for her commute. For everyone who's trying to get to work or school or get around, uh, just please be patient with each other and be aware that there might be some changes that are made to accommodate all of the shuttle buses so that everyone can get around smoothly to where they need to go. Back live now. Now this project does have to get done within the 30 days because the lease with these contracted 200 buses will eventually cease so that project has to be done.